Hey guys, for today's project we're going to be making our own yoga mat cleaning spray and so this is going to be perfect for misting down your mat after you get done with practice and it'll help keep it fresh and you are going to have the best smelling yoga mat around. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, we're going to be making five combinations of aromatherapy yoga mat spray. So the first one we're going to make is sweet orange and peppermint. So for the base, we'll be using distilled water. I just get a gallon jug of this from Walmart for about 98 cents. We'll also need alcohol-free witch hazel. I ordered this on Amazon. It's also available at health food stores and some drug stores. And we'll also need a dark glass spray bottle and a funnel can be really helpful for this too. So I poured some distilled water into my glass measuring cup just to make it easier to pour into the small bottle. So I'm going to fill the bottle about three quarters of the way with distilled water. And now fill the rest of the bottle with the alcohol-free witch hazel and leave just enough room for the essential oils. All right, for our first combination, we're gonna be using sweet orange and peppermint essential oils. So I'm gonna start with adding 16 drops of sweet orange. And sweet orange is naturally uplifting. It's a natural antidepressant. It can help relieve anxiety. And it also has natural antiseptic properties. And next I'll be adding eight drops of peppermint essential oil. And peppermint is naturally antimicrobial. It has antibacterial properties. It also promotes a calming energy. It's refreshing. It can help you breathe deeper or become more aware of your breath as also antifungal. For our second essential oil blend, we're gonna be using tea tree, lemongrass, and bergamot. And we're using the same base for each of our blends today. So we're using three quarters distilled water to one quarter of alcohol-free witch hazel. So I'm gonna be adding nine drops of tea tree essential oil. And tea tree is one of the very best antibacterial, antimicrobial essential oils out there. It's also antiseptic, antiviral, and a fungicide. And then I'll add 10 drops of lemongrass, and lemongrass is naturally an antidepressant. It can help you relax and reduce stress. It's also antibacterial and an antifungal. And then we'll add six drops of bergamot, and bergamot can help relieve stress, tension, and is also an antidepressant. For our third essential oil blend, I'm gonna be using tea tree and lavender. So I'm gonna start with adding 12 drops of tea tree oil and then 12 drops of lavender. And lavender is naturally calming. It can help relieve nervous tension and anxiety. It can reduce stress and help relax you. It's also been used as a treatment for insomnia, so it can help improve your sleep cycle. And it's also been proven to increase cognitive function. For our next essential oil blend, I'll be using lavender, eucalyptus, and bergamot. I'm going to start with adding 10 drops of lavender essential oil and then 6 drops of eucalyptus oil. And eucalyptus is a natural decongestant. It's also a deodorant, antiseptic, it's antibacterial and antifungal. It has a refreshing effect, a cooling kind of clearing of mental exhaustion or sluggishness. And it can also help reduce stress and anxiety. I'm also going to add 8 drops of bergamot essential oil. And for our last essential oil blend for this video, I'm going to be using sweet lime, lemon, grapefruit, and tea tree essential oils. So I'll start with adding 8 drops of tea tree essential oil. And next we'll add 6 drops of sweet lime essential oil. And sweet lime is antibacterial, it's also a disinfectant, antifungal, antiseptic, and antiviral. It also has restorative and uplifting properties. And next I'm adding 4 drops of lemon essential oil, which is also antibacterial. It shares a lot of the same properties as well as reducing stress. It's calming, it can increase alertness, reduce anxiety and fatigue. It also encourages a positive mindset and is very uplifting. I'm also adding 6 drops of grapefruit essential oil, which is an antidepressant. It's also very uplifting and energizing and shares a lot of the same properties as the other citrus oils. And I know I've showed this in my past aromatherapy video, but I'll go and show you guys again because I did make labels for all of my bottles. So I just use regular rubbing alcohol to clean the bottle with a cotton pad, and then I use my printer to just print out some text of whatever the product is that I made. And then I use just like free flyers and, you know, magazines or whatever, and I'll just cut out little pictures from magazines and the flyers um, to use as my labels, just to make them kind of fun and colorful. And I'll just use a glue stick to attach my label 
label to the picture that I cut out from the magazine or flyer. You can have it going across the front or down the side. I'm going to make mine go down the side so the picture is kind of the main focus. And then to attach the label, I like to use clear contact paper and I just bought a roll of this clear contact paper at Walmart for about five or six bucks and I'll just cut out a strip of it and then cut it down to size, uh, just whatever size you need for your label and to be able to wrap all the way around the bottle and just stick it to your label wrap that around your bottle and if you want you can always include your ingredients also on your label if you want to be able to remember exactly what you used And now to use your yoga mat cleaning spray, just shake before each use, mist your mat down generously, and wipe clean with a clean cloth. And I like to do this after each practice, and that way when I go to roll up my mat, I know that it's not going to be harboring bacteria and it'll be disinfected, at least in between deep cleanings. And these sprays are also gentle enough to use on any type of yoga mat that you have. And these won't dry your mat out or affect the natural stickiness of it. Alright guys, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you liked this video. And and I hope to see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.